Good afternoon. This is your daily message. We're dealing with a couple. We're dealing with two people. I do believe these two people are not in a relationship. This is dealing with two people that are in separation. This is dealing with quite possibly a third party situation yet again. I'll be so happy when this energy finally decides to either ship up or shape out. Or shape up or ship out, shall I say? Because 2024 is coming and for the love of all that is holy, man. So we're dealing with somebody here that doesn't want to let go. They don't want to learn from their mistakes. They don't want to, you know, they just don't want to let go. They don't want to move on. Okay. And they've lost hope. In this relationship they've lost hope with life they've lost hope with who they are they've lost they're just lost okay meanwhile they're wanting to fight for for all costs they want to fight they want to keep going they want to you know they want to try to fight at all costs to you know get what they want Meanwhile, they're too stuck to actually make a decision and go forward to make any type of change, which is rather frustrating. And they don't want this cycle to end. They don't want this whole idea to end. And they don't want to be the center of attention either. So this person is extremely confused. They have no idea what they want to do. They have no idea what they don't want to do. But all they know is they don't want to move on. They, they, they've lost hope. They're willing to fight for all, at all costs to, to get what they want. But they're not willing to make a decision or move forward towards it. And they don't want to be the center of attention. They don't want any uh, dark heat. Or they don't want to take accountability for their actions. Now... We're dealing with somebody that wants justice due to a betrayal, okay? And due to lies and deceit that it have been divinely integrated into their mind. So they've had some downloads come in to say, yo, this is what's happening. This is what's going on. Pay attention. Which has created a situation of them not wanting to move forward or them having a hard time making a decision and not being able to be free to make those decisions. Okay? And everything that they've chosen to go towards has turned around and just kept them stuck. Okay? So there seems to be some sort of an energy holding them back. Okay? And now they're having to make analytical decisions about their life because of the betrayal. This betrayal really screwed them up. Okay, and pretty well took them away from what's important to them. Now, what's important to them? Standing in their boss energy, putting the work into it, utilizing their intuition to become their best, most authentic self. Okay, waiting patiently for their ships to come in after a lot of hard work to become who they are. They've done the healing. They've created a situation of of uh, benefit for themselves and they finally found out and they squared up all their problems all their issues they're healing they're recognizing they're taking accountability and they're creating a situation of of just patience of waiting for that ship to come in well it's finally in it's finally here the ship has sailed it's come in and they're waiting they're waiting very patiently and the ten of cups is coming Okay, whether for this person or not, their Ten of Cups is coming. That's what they're aiming at. They want total wish fulfillment. They want to have a nice life. They want to have a stable life with, you know, with love and cherishing and have a family and have a good time. Okay? And 
they don't want to pass judgment on anyone. They don't want anything. They don't want to make ripples. Okay? But they're literally having no choice but to, to do because of this betrayal. Okay? The Eight of Cups. They don't want to let go. But they're having no choice. And they realize what they're walking away from. Okay? And the fact that all these cups are empty, they think that it's all been for nothing because of it. Meanwhile, all they did is give. All they did is give their, their, their pretty well their whole life to this situation, only to be betrayed. They literally gave their all. And now they're in hermit mode. Okay? They're trying to refine and re recalibrate their inner light. They're trying to make sense of this whole situation. They're trying to create a situation of, of, of uh, certainty and awareness within their life. They're trying to make sense of what this whole situation was about. And Spirit's telling them to rest after a long journey. Now, the Four of Swords is also talking about quite possibly a funeral. Okay? So this person had to deal with quite the betrayal and it being stuck. Okay, because the Eight of Wands is talking about stuck energy and not being able to move forward. And the Fool upside down, not being able to trust in their own intuition in order to move forward because of this betrayal and because of the lies and deceit that were revealed. Okay? So now they're having a hard time trying to find strength, but they are finding their warrior within. They're looking to celebrate. They're looking to create a better life for themselves. They're looking to collaborate with others. Okay? But they're sick and tired of being a dirty little secret. Because that's partially part of the part of the, uh, the betrayal. All right? They're finding a new balance within them, within their masculine and feminine aspect of self. Okay? And they're getting themselves ready to align themselves with their soulmate. Okay, so despite all this betrayal, they're trying to heal at the same time. Okay, they're trying to move on. They're trying to look past all this garbage that went on. And they're doing their best to heal and move forward, regardless if they're not getting any closure from this. Okay? They're done with the fights. They're done with the quarreling. They're done with all the crap. They just have no time to waste anymore because they've already wasted enough time, right? And they don't know whether or not to retreat. They don't know whether or not to move move forward. They don't know what to do. Should they stay and fight? Should they just take off and just be done with it? But they have a feeling within if they go to make a decision to move away, that's when they're going to come back. That's when they're going to find their worth. That's when they're going to want to actually step forward and actually make a decision. Okay? We're dealing with somebody of a coward that doesn't want to take accountability for his actions. Okay? And doesn't want this person to move on. Meanwhile, this person is already healed. They've, they've already went through their, their lessons and they've done the work to move on. And it's a really sad situation that they think that they can turn around and keep this person from doing that and moving on with their life and going and getting their Ten of Cups. So I don't know who this is for, but, you know, this person over here needs to shit or get off the pot as far as I'm concerned. You know, if they don't have any hope for the future... And what the actual hell are they bothering to fight for this? Why do they not want to let go? Are they that much stuck into their ego that they can't make a decision? And what? This person over here is, is basically sat sitting there waiting for them to make a decision. And pretty well giving them no other option. Because the Eight of Wands is talking about a stuck energy. So this person never gave them any type of closure whatsoever. So now that's why they want justice. Because they know what's going on. That's why. And divine justice is coming in. That's the, that's the switch up. 
That's what this person doesn't realize. Because the shit that they pulled and the betrayal that they feel, divine justice is that is being brought to uh, the table now. Okay? And where they think that they don't want to cast judgment on it due to the fact that they understand that this person's hurting, divine justice is coming in. Okay? They're not trying to make a ripple. But they're literally giving it no other choice. But whoever this is, they just need to focus on what's important. Because if this person wants to waste time and doesn't want to make a decision and wants to be a fucking coward, then just stay in your own fucking lane and let this person get on with their life already. Because that's just, just, that's ignorant as far as I'm concerned. Ignorant. So, yeah. Find your inner warrior, whoever this person is. Find your inner warrior. Find your inner light. Don't stop. Continue. Continue going. 